Hi guys and welcome back to another video. This video is the uh, first one that I've made since coming back from IMM and um, that was a cracking weekend, it really was. Um, I do have some footage on it but I really just haven't had a chance to do anything with it. So over the coming weeks I'll, I'll have a look through what I've got and see if I can maybe knock, knock a video up. If not I'll just tag bits of the footage onto the end of the next few videos. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, while I was um, at the IMM, I went and purchased some new parts for Annie's uh, rear subframe. So if I just spin the camera around, I'll show you where we're at. Right, uh, first off, um, I bought some donuts for the rear subframe. Well, everything here is for the rear subframe. Um, so I've got a high-low kit here. I got that from Mini Spares along with two shock absorbers. The brakes, I've ordered, well, not ordered, but I've actually bought new brakes. Um, this Razzmatazz here. So, bought them from Mini, Spear, uh, Mini Sport, um, all built up with um, Mintex pads on them. So, um, I just need to fit them. I bought the, the wheel nuts from Huddersfield and um, a couple of radius arm pin kits which I got from Minimine. Um, the rest of the bits that you can see here is stuff that I've had in, in stock. Um, this is, uh, I think that's a passenger side negative camber bracket that will go there. This is off um, Angus. I've taken that off and cleaned it up. Same way uh, the quadrants for the handbrake. I've um, cleaned them up as well. Um, near Angus's. And um, his rear hub. So I've taken the wheel bearings out of that and um, given it a, a coat of um, black paint, hammerite, just to make it look nice. Um, his wheel bearings are up there and um, to be fair they were in not too bad condition but from my stock I've got um, new wheel bearings anyway so I've had them for years so I'll fit them um, I'd like to thank Jonathan Lockett for um, sending a box of bits over um, last year and um, in his box of bits was uh, rear pins or whatever these are that go in, in here for the radius arm you know, for the trunnions um, so I'll be using them um, so thank you Jonathan and also Jonathan gave me um, these new cups for the radius arms for your knuckle joints so um, thank you Jonathan for that now, um, this is a, a pin that came out of um, Angus's um, rear radius arm. Um, what I did notice, if I grab it, is um, on both sides of the radius arm, it's got roller bearings. Roller bearing there and a roller bearing there. Now, a few people have um, said um, that when they were overhauled previously, that was what they'd done. They fitted roller bearings to both sides. Um, so, my next question is if he's, anybody can answer this in the comments section, as well, I'll still be able to put a brass bush in there or have they been reamed out too big for a brass bush um, because obviously with the overhaul kits that you get you only get one roller bearing and one brass bush so um, I'd like to know if, I can just, if it's just a matter of replacing the roller bearing with the brass bush so if anybody knows the answer to that if you could fire that into the comments I'd be um, really grateful for it. I've also bought a 
radius arm reamer um, there it's sir it's the same as the one that Keith Miller's got so I bought that and I also bought new punches because I can't find all my punches so I bought them they were cheap they were on eBay um, this one here bang on for knocking out your your wheel bearings or your tapered bearings in your hub absolute treat and you've got loads of different sizes I mean this was under a tenner it was about seven pound you know so yeah I'm really happy with that um, so that's where we're at the subframe this is Angus's old subframe um, you would have seen him in the video in the previous videos um, you might have seen me painting it up I really can't remember I really need to go back and watch watch my videos to see where I'm at but I've already fitted um, the mounting point for the subframe on this side the brand new bushes again that was the bushes that Jonathan um, kind of gifted me and same with this side that's fitted trunnion's all painted up you know so I've got that to do. The they bolts are just in there just to stop paint going into the into the thread so obviously that's not the right bolts for it. So yeah that's the subframe from Angus that I'll be putting into Annie and again that's an aftermarket frame but it's a damn sight better than the, um, that subframe that came out of uh, Annie. So I'll be keeping that subframe. I know somebody asked me in one of the comments if they could have it. I don't have a problem with giving it away, but I'm going to keep hold of that because I'll need that for lining up the the boot floor and all that in, in Angus, you know, um, because I haven't got a jig and I haven't made a jig. And to be perfectly honest with you, I can't be arsed making a jig. Um, so, sorry, I'll be, I'll be keeping a hold of this knackered subframe until... I don't need it, and if you still want it when I'm finished with it, I mean you're more than welcome to have it, you know, um, because it's only going to going to go into the scrap pile anyway. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the other radius arm. I've spied it, and it's up there. So I'm going to dig that out and uh, start stripping that down and um, doing the overhaul on the parts. Obviously, I'll be taking the the hub off it knocking the bearings out and um, yeah just getting it all cleaned up so it's ready to um, fire into the, the new subframe um, I'll also <clears throat> at some point strip this apart I may have to end up using Annie's old um, radius arms ream them out and fit the new pin kits to them if um, the brass bush doesn't fit and um, these arms so that's a problem for another day but at the moment what I'll do is I'll get that radius arm dug out and um, strip down oh I also bought a new radio for the garage um, that's a DAB radio and I got that for £15 on Facebook marketplace and it plays all my um, 80s radio stations which I like so a good um, a good little investment for 15 quid and it's DAB um, so this old knackered hi-fi or radio whatever you want to call it um, that's finished for in here so I can use that for when I'm decorating the, inside the house obviously clean it up before I take it in because it's absolutely minging you know so yeah there we go right here's a uh, Angus's old radius arm complete with his non spacer drum and uh, look at the state of um, the dust cover for the for the hub here and that's that's all bashed to hell so I think I'll be replacing that one I'll just use one of uh, Annie's um, 
That was his other dust cover and that's a few dents in it like but I'll be reusing that. So um I'm not gonna reuse that one. That's just a mess. So anyway, we need to get this uh, drum off it. So we'll just take his wheel nuts off. Obviously this has been sitting for a while and I'll need to wind off the adjuster and I remember with this side um, I welded on a nut because the adjuster I'm it out. The adjuster on this side was seized you know so that wasn't going to wind out um, and I remember when I was adjusting the brakes uh, I had to weld a nut onto this one because that one was seized at the time and this one moved but you got to remember that was probably nearly 10 years ago so what I've done with this side it's not very neat but I welded on a, a nut, a 17 mm nut and at the moment that drum's that drum solid. So if I back it off, that will allow the shoes to move back. I think it's that way. It's turning the other stuff. Right, that's turning. So now that drum should just lift off. And uh, I'll just buy new drums as well I think. I'll not be reusing these ones, certainly not. But if uh, the drums are nanny, if they clean up okay, I'll, I'll reuse them. But if not, I'll just buy new drums for it. I'd probably as well just buy new drums, that'll be it's all nice and new. So there's uh, the inside of uh, Angus's old brakes. And you can see there's plenty of life left in these shoes. There's nothing wrong with them. You know, these brakes were always not too bad actually. So, no point me waffling on. I'll just get this uh, stripped down. Right, <clears throat> when I removed uh, the other side, 
It was about a faff. I had to get a hub puller on it to pull to pull it off, and this is tight as well. So it looks like I'm going to have to do the same for this. Shame because their bearings are good, but I'll be getting replaced. So. I'll come back to you in a minute and I'll find my uh, my hub puller. Right, I've managed to find uh, a couple of my hub pullers. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to use a small one. But we'll see if we can get it started with a big one uh, first. I'll just make sure that that's lined up. I mean these were just cheap, cheap uh, pullers on eBay. They do the trick. And it's pulling that off just nicely. I had a, a decent sized bench to work off but there's just no room in this garage right I've got half of it out anyway right well that came off and I won a no problem so yeah, I'm happy with that. They'll be getting binned anyway, so just put that to one side. I won't be keeping the shoes, so I don't need to be too nice for them. shoes off. It's a shame because they're brand new, there's nothing wrong with them. Right, obviously need to get this brake pipe off, I forgot all about that. So these are all copper, so they've been done before. Uh, not by me, but let's see if somebody else. Now I need to get a spanner for that. Just using a brake pipe spanner for this one. No, it's a brass fit and it was still tight. So I deliberately didn't strip these down when I took them off Angus. Because I'm the sort of person that loses things if I strip them down into their components. I'm not organised at all. I mean, I've lost half the bits for Angus already. So it's going to be a big hunt to find them. They're scattered everywhere. Right, there's his uh, old brake pipe. Putting that to the side. Right, I'll need to obviously take that nipple out to get that cylinder out. Okay, 
because I don't, I don't think that will come out. Just leave that in a bit more. I'll do for that. I'll probably end up just burning that with the, with the back plate. Right. Next is to get these nuts off. That's all paint. Right. Just a bit of his old handbrake cable there. That is roasting hot. Try to get that off. Even the bolts hot. Right, that's safely off. So now that back plate should just simply come away. Like so. Right, I need to get this fairly off. Push comes to shove. I'll just cut that off of the grinder. Which I think I'll be doing. Yep. Yeah, I'll chop that. I'll chop that to the grinder, so I'm not going to worry about that just now. This one has the brass insert on this side. Roll a bearing on that side. It'd be fair, I feel okay, yeah. But we will overhaul it. So this one does have the brass bearing, uh, the brass bush, and uh, this side. Roll a bearing on that side. Get the muck on this. Grease.
Right, the handbrake quadrant, that's solid. Don't even know if I can see the pin. Yeah, the split pin on this side. You can just see a bit of it, or what's left of it. I don't think that's going to come out. Very much doubt it. So I think we'll just chop that off and try and drift that. Uh, not chopping out. That one came out. The other, the other side came out, no problem. The pin is coming out, but I'm going to have to buy a new pin for that side. This is going to, these uh, little punches, they're going to be the best by um, 2019. buying a new uh, quadrant for that side. Very much doubt that pin will come out. Yeah, let's just buy a new quadrant. That one's okay. That one's not okay. That wasn't even spinning. Um, when it was on the car. All I need to do is cut that, cut that off, and uh, we're good to go. That's where we're at. So I'll cut that, I'll cut that off off camera, and um, we'll continue uh, cleaning that up. back again. I couldn't be bothered uh, changing the, the pad for blades on the grinder so I just used an old trusty hacksaw, clamped up the vise, cut through the bolt. I don't know where the other ends went to. Just it down there. Yeah. Just cut it. That's still boiling hot. Just cut it with a hacksaw. Chop, chop, chop. And that's it off. And uh, if I bring you around, you'll see that it hasn't damaged 
it hasn't damaged that at all it's not even touched that so yeah happy with that so what we'll do now is I'll just finish off um, cleaning this up um, and get it ready for for painting um, I don't know if I should ream it before I paint it probably a better idea isn't it right but we'll probably make that for another video so anyway I'll just finish off cleaning that up and uh, in the next episode um, we'll ream it if you've made it this far um, thanks for watching and uh, remember to um, like and uh, subscribe the, to the channel especially if it's your first time I'd appreciate that anyway guys I'll catch you later bye now